Hey guys, I'm here at TJ Maxx. It's been about five or six months since we've been in a TJ Maxx together and wouldn't you know it, they have a ton of serums here today. Finley Glycolic Acid and Squalane Face Serum resurfacing. Now, glycolic acid is helpful for smoothing the skin surface, but it can be irritating for some. Um, but if it's tolerated, depending on how this is formulated, it can help lighten age spots and it can be helpful for those of you who deal with rough and bumpy skin, aka keratosis pilaris. This has squalane in it too, an emollient. How much is that? It does have fragrance in it, which is six bucks. Interesante. And they have a hyaluronic acid and retinol anti-aging facial serum with a big sticker on it. So now hyaluronic acid can enhance the penetration of other ingredients in a formula. Retinol as an ingredient is tricky to work with. I, I, that's why I always recommend going with like more reputable brands because it can be pretty unstable. Is it just me? This Finley brand kind of looks like they're trying to copycat Sunday Riley packaging a little bit. Maybe I'm reaching there. Retinol and peptides for deep sleep. Um, okay, again, retinol, great ingredient for wrinkles, but uh, you wanna make sure you're going with a reputable brand. Now, the, there are a few peptides in here. Palmitoleo oligopeptide, tetrapeptide seven. This probably help with hydration. Sunny Vibes Body Scrub, Pineapple Hibiscus. This looks like it's been tampered with, $5.99. Now these scrubs, they have this kind of immediate gratification effect of sanding the skin surface, but they don't really address barrier issues in a way that's going to offer you sustained improvement in skin smoothness, like a hydroxy acid and or a retinol product would. Check out my video on how to get smooth skin on the body talk about it in more detail there but you really want to talk to your barrier your epidermis more with the ingredients whereas this just kind of sandblasted these kind of scrubs like a salt scrub i mean ooh, check it out the neutrogena body clear pink grapefruit body wash is here 5.99 this is good for acne on the body it's also good if you get seborrheic dermatitis which you can get on the body and if you have a deeper skin tone that can heal with a white spot hypopigmentation. Ooh, donut, fizzies. What a mess that probably makes. Like who wants scented sprinkles? Ooh, Advanced Clinicals is on there. Vitamin C and turmeric game here. Now this brand has a body retinol that I rather enjoy. And what does this have in it? Aside from, it, it has Ferulic acid, that's an antioxidant that can help stabilize ascorbic acid. Does this have ascorbic acid in it though? It does not. It has ascorbyl phosphate. That's a stable form of vitamin C. It's probably good as an antioxidant body moisturizer, helping to maybe lighten age spots by reducing oxidative stress. Starshine Dazzle Body Glow Shimmer Mist Light Vanilla Scent. Okay. Sparkle Plenty. <laughs> this shea butter looks like it's um, on its last legs, like it's about to be done. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong, but like, are we seeing a striking difference here in the color between these two? I don't know. It seems suspicious. Shea butter is a great moisturizer though, I will say. Now, Tiger Balm is full of ingredients that are potentially irritating to the skin. And uh, if you're allergic to fragrance, you definitely have to avoid it. But if you have um, Notalgia Parasthetica, that's that chronic itching on the back between the shoulder blades, really hard to reach, the, the menthol can actually help calm down the itch. Um, burns a bit, but yeah, it's helpful for distracting the itch nerves. Check out my video on itchy back. I explain in detail ingredients there that help with back itch. But the thing about that type of back itch is that it's basically like the way the little nerves come out. They kind of get pinched and stretched from the muscles of the back. And so that's what can lead to chronic itch. These earrings are randomly here. They're kind of cute. Anyway. Here we have a retinol day cream with SPF 20. Is this a broad spectrum sunscreen? Um, doesn't appear to be claiming to be. Oh yeah, broad spectrum. So that's cool. Retinol can degrade 
you know, sunlight, it's vulnerable to degradation, depending on how the product is formulated. This is scented though, which I don't recommend for using retinols with fragrance. I used to be so tempted by this Philosophy brand. They were always coming out with these fun, seemingly fun body washes. It had all these fun scents, like we're talking when I was in high school, but they were so expensive, like I could not afford them. And I just remember like wanting them all the time. <laughs> it's, it's kind of ironic because now Fast forward, I have access to any kind of body wash I could ever possibly want. I could probably get, and I have no interest in that. That's how life pans out, you know, when it comes to material things. Toka body lotion. It's kind of a pretty bottle, except they went and ruined it with a TJ Maxx sticker. You know, you're gonna have to work at it to get off. They're not revealing the ingredientes. Oh, check it out. Elf's Acne Calming Water Cream is here. I originally discovered this in Walmart like several months ago and it looked promising because it's a salicylic acid leave-on cream which is great for acne, seborrheic dermatitis, uh, especially if your acne is comedonal. Salicylic acid is really good but sal salicylic acid is also great for hyperpigmentation and the thing I liked about this is it also has niacinamide which if you tolerate it is a good ingredient for acne, hyperpigmentation, redness um, so this this is a promising product what does it say about the now this has tranexamic acid tranexamic acid applied to the skin may be helpful for redness it's questionable how effective it is though for hyperpigmentation now when we're talking about melasma it, it oral tranexamic acid that you take by mouth definitely is effective for melasma but applying it to the skin remains TBD Clinical Works Under Eye Cream. Okay, not sure. A lavender scented eye cream, I would pass on that. What's this intensive eye serum? Soothes dark circles. Now caffeine can constrict the blood vessels and that can have the effect of like temporarily improving the look of dark under eye circles, but a lot of dark under eye circles are hereditary and the skincare products don't really do anything like they can be an extension of pigmentary demarcation lines or just a reflection of the anatomy around your eye like your eye socket may have more prominent under eye hollows and with age there's descent of the cheek it lowers and you get more prominent under eye hollows and products don't really address that what else does this have ascorbic acid antioxidant effects may help ward off against hyperpigmentation depending on stability but the fragrance can be especially irritating to the delicate eyelid skin. This is interesting, a ultrasonic face mister, 10.99. Hmm, I guess it's just basically to mist yourself. Can be used with rose water and toner to upgrade your skincare routine. That's kind of interesting. I wonder if this works Be Pure. What company is it that sells Be Pure? Does it, is Be Pure the one that's always at the Dollar Tree? I'm blanking now. Anyway, this kind of looks interesting. $10.99. Then there's also a hyaluronic acid and salicylic acid facial serum. That would probably be good for acne. Like I said, hyaluronic acid can enhance penetration, so it may help it be more effective, especially if you have thicker acne. Although this has fragrance. It also has, there's also bacillus ferment and pamphanol. Those are hydrating ingredients. 40 carats. I have not seen anything from this brand in a long time. A moisture splurge. Luxurious facial moisturizer. Beta carotene and retinol. Seems like they have a lot of retinols here today. What is this? Teen Again Day Cream. Okay, look tame. Aerialist pump packaging. Look at me, Teen Again Day Cream. A fast absorbing cream provides immediate vitality. Peptide and collagen, those are humectants. Niacinamide, that's good for hyperpigmentation and redness. There are quite a few peptides in this, which may, you know, in theory help with barrier recovery and healing and maybe in putting the brakes on excessive pigment production, although it's all kind of, you know, up in the air as to if they actually work. But anyway, 
dipotassium glycerosate from licorice. It's good for redness and hyperpigmentation. What is, oh, this brand is an MLM, right? Beauty counter. And they like snuck their way into, into like the, uh, aren't they in Sephora or Ulta? One of those. What is this? Oh, this is a hand sanitizer with a radiance booster in it. Just looks like a scented hand sanitizer. Oh, niacinamide. Yeah, that can help with age spots and redness, discoloration. This in mind is also good for the skin barrier, so it can help with dryness on the hands, and it's also good because it's an antioxidant, so your hands, you know, it's kind of neglected territory, and you can end up getting a lot of, you know, environmental exposures there with sun and everything, plus stuff you touch, so that makes some sense. I think Neutrogena discontinued this because I don't see it that much. This is their Skin Glowing AHA PHA blend, which has gluconolactone, a polyhydroxy acid that's very hydrating. It also has glycolic and lactic acid. And this is a great product, in my opinion, for people who have rough and bumpy skin, except it does have fragrance, which is quite strong in, in this Neutrogena product. It would be great otherwise. So Advanced Clinicals has a dark spot corrector here. Hyaluronic acid, hydrating. Green tea is helpful for combating oxidative stress um, when you are outdoors exposed to the sun. Also has licorice root, good for redness and inflammation. Cocoa seed butter, shea butter. This actually looks, oh, it's, it does have fragrance, unfortunately which is a common irritant, but otherwise that seems interesting. Oh dear, the Inky List Fulvic Acid Cleanser. I think I tried this and it's okay. It's not like magical, otherwise all right. But I felt like it was a bigger, a bigger bottle. Somebody pointed this out to me recently that a lot of the Inky List products have a short Best Buy opening number. Like this one's only good within six months, which seems really short for a cleanser. I mean, that's a small packaging anyway, so you'll probably go through it quickly, but it's just kind of odd. Here's another retinol night cream. Scented again. Makeup wipes and a cleansing water. I'm not a fan of makeup wipes. They just kind of push the dirt and grime and makeup all over the place. They don't really take it off well, but anyway. Manyo Bifida Biome Complex Ampule. This is, looks to be a Korean skincare product. Bifida is very hydrating. Same thing with Lactobacillus Ferment, Lysate and Lactococcus Ferment and Saccharomyces Ferment Filtrate. Those are hydrating, humectant rich. This has a few forms of hyaluronic acid, compounds from Centella. This looks really promising, actually. How much are they asking for this? Um, $9.99. I've never heard of this brand before, have you? Let me know in the comments. I've never seen this from Nivea, Naturally Good. Chamomile can be soothing unless you're allergic to it. Um, this has alcohol denaturant in it, which kind of makes for a fast absorbing formula. It's kind of interesting, like, an entire facial product dedicated to chamomile, you don't really see that. I mean, it's a common ingredient in skincare products, the chamomile, chamomile flower extract, but like you rarely see it as like the main story ingredient. Oh, this is a handy little travel size shampoo and conditioner. Never heard of this brand before. Playa. Well guys, TJ Maxx did not disappoint. Um, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed it. Now on the end slate, I'm going to put my recent Ulta shop with me video. There's a ton of great new skincare at Ulta, so you're gonna wanna check that video out next. But if you like this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.